Hello, my name is Robert, and in this tutorial, I want to show you how to do this rocket over here. So, by pressing Q, and it's going to activate itself and it's going to go up pretty fast. And I can toggle between the character and the camera, which is pretty cool. So, I want to make a new first person template, and I actually imported my own missile. Uh, it, I did this pretty quickly in Blender. You can, if you don't want to, if you don't know how to use Blender, you can. You say cylinder, and if you you can even add a core on top of it, so don't worry about that. It's not necessary. So the first thing I want you to do is create an actor, and I want you to call it missile. Okay. And before I open it, I want you to go to the first person character blueprint and create a variable called missile. And I want you to make it editable, and also the variable type will be the name that you uh, gave uh, the actor we just did so in my case it's missile and we want the reference so let's compile and let's close that and let's go back into content let's open up missile and the first thing we're going to do is add a static mesh and this will obviously be our um, rocket so let's uh, in my case, I'm going to look up my asset, and then it's actually really big. So by actually pressing this lock, we can make this smaller in the three axes directly. And I want to make sure it's the default scene root. So by doing that, we also want to uh, check simulate physics, because it's going to use physics for going up and also make sure it's this is to, uh, set to movable I think we're good and after that we're going to add a physics thruster we want to leave it how it is for now and let's add also an arrow component and this will basically indicate the angle that the physics thruster is pointing it's optional and actually if we uh, rotate this minus 90 degrees on the Y you'll see that the arrow component which is this don't uh, it's not the x-axis it's the arrow is pointing down so we actually also want to add a particle system because it will look much nicer and we want to add the smoke and we want to rotate this minus 90 degrees on the Y axis so if you want to add your own camera to the rocket, you can set the static mesh, add a spring arm. After that, you want to add a arrow component. And after that, we want to add a camera. Okay, perfect. And we want to make sure the arrow is following the camera. So let me look up my reference. A project and see the rotation for the camera and we have 180 degrees for the X and minus 75 for the Y so now if we select the spring arm we can move this up just a little bit and we should be good so if we go into the event graph we can delete these two events so actually, I actually forgot to do something. We want to go into the physics thruster and in the thrust strength, we want to add six nines. There we go. So we're going to go into the event graph and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to make a player reference. And this is going to be a type third person, first person character. There we go. So we want to do a cast to the first person character. Oops, not that. Sorry. Uh, first cast to first person character. And we want the object to be the player pawn. So type in get player pawn. And that should work. So if you compile and you see that you have a yellow warning or something, uh, you don't have the correct object. So now let's get the player reference, let's get the setter, and let's set 
the play reference. And now if you remember, we made a, in the first person character, we made a variable named missile. So I'm going to set the missile. And we want this, the missile to be self. So that should be it for the be event begin play. So now we want to go into the, uh, we want to, wait. We want to go into the first person character blueprint. And we want to add uh, Q and put, or well, you can use X, you can use spacebar, you can use whatever you want. And we actually want to make another variable. And this is going to be a boolean, and I want to name it shoot. And make sure it's also visible. And let's add a set for this. And the reason why we want this variable is to so we can activate the missile and also change the camera. So let's add a flip flop. It sounds kind of funny. And for the A, we want to uh, we want to set view target with blend. Nope. Oh, maybe we need to turn off context sensitive. Set, oops, set view target with blend. There we go. And we actually also want to set that to the B as well. But for the target, we want get player controller. And well, we actually want this to on the other target. What's going to change is the new view target. So for the first one, we want the missile. So get missile. And for the second one, we want self. So by adding this, we're going to be able to toggle between the cameras. Okay, so now we are going to make an event tick. And we, all, we want a branch. So let's plug that into. And the condition we want, actually we first want the play reference, is the shoot variable that we did before. So let's look up shoot, get shoot. And if this is true, this is just kind of to check. Well, actually we need to compile. So it saves the variable, there we go. So we want, this, we want if it's true, it means that um, the missile still hasn't been launched. So let's add another branch and we want another condition. And this time we want the physics thruster and we want to get the thrust strength. And we want less than, not more, less than. And we want a, actually in my reference project, I have a five, a couple nines, and a zero. Just play with that value and see what works well and also get an or and now we're going to make a variable and this is going to be named reached maximum and this will check if it reached the maximum height or not so let's get that add that to the or and now to the condition Okay, so now we want to set the maximum to true uh, over here. And we also want to put this over here. And we want to set the physics thruster. Oops, no, sorry. We set the uh, thrust strength to minus. Nine, 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 couple nines. Six, uh, six, yeah, six nines. And this will make the um, 
missile fault. And if it's false, we want to obviously add more to it. So let's get the physics thruster. Sorry, thrust strength. I keep uh, forgetting its thrust strength. And we're going to multiply. We want a fault times fault by 1.01. That will be adding 1% each frame. So let's put that into false. Let's compile. And now, before we keep going, we want to add a new ones. And the reason why we want to do this is to activate the physics thruster and the particle system just once. Okay, because we don't want to reset it every single tick. So set active, and let's double click this, and let's hit the target to the second set active, and let's connect this. So let's compile. Okay, so actually we need to add some linear damping, uh, damping, damping. So we want 0.2, that should be interesting or of gas. And we want to add the missile into our scene. So let's press play. And let's press Q. And as you can see, it changed camera. And it's not going up, so I'm going to check what's wrong. So give me a minute, please. So I just found out what's the problem, and it's that we need to set this to... We want to check this, and this as well, as I forgot. Sorry about that. So let's press play. And if we press Q, the missile will launch. So that's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or you don't want to learn how to do something in Unreal, make sure to comment down below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.